All right, so we got a little bit to do here, so let's start that. In the top view, what I'm going to do is create a cylinder. Um, not too big, just uh, big enough, I guess, give it a little height. We're also going to take it down, um, since it's not really going to be seen, we'll take it down to 10, that's good. And uh, let's bring it up to the top here. And for some reason my computer is lagging hardcore for I have no idea why. It's just a cylinder. Alright, so I hit M, bring up the material editor here, and see my edges. And we'll just set it in there a little bit, that's fine. Bring that down some. And then what I'm going to do here is kind of take all of this here and bring it up a little more to the top. Something like that. So like that thing. Give it a little bit more height give it a height segment of 1 and right click and convert it to an editable poly I'm going to take this edge right here and actually I'm going to take all of that I think or just this through here looking at it over there I'm going to hit extrude click OK be done with that goes all the way over there, but I'm going to put it to right there. And then I'm going to straighten it out simply by just scaling it that way. And then we have that. Okay. And I'm just going to come in here, select all of these edges around. Okay, something like that, and then I'm going to chamfer them, not a whole lot, just a little bit, and click OK, and that's that on there, okay, and that's good enough for now. The door itself could be could use a little bit of length back to it now that I re rescaled that. So let me uh, up this sum to about right there, and then also take the the insulator part and bring it up some too. Okay, and then what I'm going to do is take another cylinder. same size here, bring it up through here, All right, give it some height, because it looks like these two parts are connected somehow through that, and then you see my edges, I'm going to give it another segment right here, right click convert it to an editable poly, I'm going to select these and do a loop and then I'm going to scale them together. I'll go down over here on this side. Well, I was hoping I was. So instead, I'll just uh, bring it in here like that. Let me select all of these and do an extrude, local normal, just a little bit. All right. And ring select these, um, connect with uh, two, pinch, and you know what, let's cancel that. What I'm going to do instead here is just select this loop right here and select 
that bottom loop and just do a small chamfer. Nothing too big. Just something that might be able to pick it up in the render, like the ambient occlusion. Alright, and I'm thinking this is just a little too, um, I think these be scaled down a tad. Okay, and brought over some this way. And then I'll adjust these, I'll just push these up in here, and push this about in the middle, this down, like that. Okay, F4. And that's in there like so. What I'm going to do is select this door. Do a ring selection. I'm going to do a connect of two. And pinch about something like that. Okay. And I'm going to come in here and just select um, the top and the bottom polygons like so. Something like that. And I'm going to extrude it. Local normal. Just a little bit. And click OK. And that gives us a little bit more of something to work with. I will uh, hide this for now. Okay. I don't know what these are. These are like helpers for some reason. Zoom in on them. I don't even think I need them. So I'm going to get rid of those. Zoom back in on here. Just in case they were helping slow me down for no reason whatsoever. Zoom in on here. floor to bring up my edges. And I'm going to take this, I'm going to loop that. Probably have to come around the back here. Nope, it did it. I'm going to chamfer that. I'll look and see how well it did it. Click OK. That's good enough for me. And I'm going to do the same here on this edge. Loop. Chamfer, just a smidge. Click OK. And now we have that. Kind of looks better. Instead of doing it down here, I'm just going to take this one and just duplicate it down. Let's click OK. Like that. All right. Take these, and I'm going to go all the way down to here, Something like that, all right, and then I'm going to select the insulation, which for some reason is all the way down at the bottom, and bring it up to about right there. Alright, so now I have that. Um, unhide by name, and I have box 4 here. And I've named everything pretty well, I think. So I'm going to unhide that, and yes, that's good. I'm going to call this a fridge box. So we have that. Alright, I'm also going to unhide by name, um, let's see, a, uh, a door group. Unhide the layers of these objects. Okay. Man, I guess I can't do that. I'll just do this. Let's go to, um, goodness gracious, uh, what was it? Kitchen. Kitchen set is unhid. Oh, unhide all. No. Alright, come on back here. I'm just going to shift select out a door. Click OK. And then 
zoom out a little bit, hide selection, and then hide all of this. Okay, and then I'm going to turn this around 180 degrees, group, open, just delete the door because we don't need it. I'm going to delete this whole group. I'm going to take this door handle here and move it over to here. Ah, I hate that. So I take this and I'm just going to get it put in place for now. put it in place for the moment. Okay, as far as scaling is concerned, I'm going to scale this entire thing up. Something like that. And then I'm going to open the group, select the middle here, select this, bring it down, it's right there, bring it to about right here here, alright, and then I'm going to select these little end parts and bring them about right there, and space it evenly right there, and then close that, bring it over to about the edge, and then shift duplicate one down here, open it, this down to here and go in there and pick that little guy all right got him and evenly space that close that group select both of them and then zoom in on them a little bit and get them into where we want them to be about right there and that's basically the refrigerator. Kind of need another thing at the bottom here to kind of hold that. But truthfully, I'm not too worried about it. I don't think we're going to see it because of the cabinet. So let me select this whole thing and group it. And I'm going to call it uh, refrigerator. Refrigerator underscore GRP. That way we can have it. Have it good to go. Um, yeah, I could probably use a, a couple more things to add some detail to it, but I am think I'm going to leave it alone for now. I'm going to unhide all. No. And there we go. Yeah, it's really starting to come together now. I really like this. You can see how small this kitchen is now. <laughs> Terrible. Okay, so in the next video, what I'm going to do is actually come in here and fix these cabinets and add the doors in there like we're supposed to. I'll go ahead and save now, though. And do uh, 11, uh, fridge, um, O2. Okay, so in the next video, fix this cabinet, add the couple of doors right here, and um, yeah, that should that should be uh, that should be good for the refrigerator. Might even put, you know what? I'm not going to. I just looked right here. There's no reason to add detail to hold this door in place. I think I think this will do good. By the by the end of this DVD we'll we'll know exactly what we're missing I think and what we need to put so let's just concentrate on these cabinets next